is up guys welcome back to the tube my name is Sarah welcome to Saturdays with Sarah I hope you guys are having a marvelous day or night wherever you guys are it is currently 11 o'clock at night here on a Friday and I upload on Saturday so <laughs> if you guys don't know I am a serious procrastinator and I think this is the worst procrastinating I've ever done in my whole life wow look at my hair Okay guys, so today I'm going to be talking about types of family members. That is the theme of this week is types of blank. So this week it is types of family members. So yeah, let's just get on into this video. Okay, so the first group of family members I guess that I want to talk about are the types of siblings. Uh, I grew up with five brothers, so I don't really know anything about sisters, but my brothers constantly forced me to go outside and play like football with them and stuff like that and they were just always constantly needing my attention however i was the sibling that did not want to have friends like i wanted to be alone when i was at home i wanted to be in my room play with my barbie dolls watch tv all by myself so i was that type of sibling sibling that was very like secluded away from everyone and of course, you know, my brothers, they just wanted me to go outside and like throw the football with them or play baseball, you know, whatever. They were the very energetic kids and I was not. So I feel like you're either one or the two. You're like one of those siblings that really love spending time with their siblings. And then you're like me who was always alone. But now that I've gotten older, I have grown to love my brothers and I actually enjoy spending time with them. So that's good. So next group of family members that I want to talk about are the aunts and the uncles. You either have cool aunts and uncles or really weird aunts and uncles, I feel like. <laughs> There's like no in between. This was like the real inspiration behind wanting to do this video because my aunts and uncles are the flippin' bomb. They're the bomb, okay? But <laughs> we always have those few family members that are related to the aunts and the uncles or like the parents that are super freaking weird. Thankfully, I have really great aunts and uncles and my parents obviously are pretty amazing. They made me, um, but my aunts and uncles do have cousins that are very weird, very redneck. Um, I do live in Georgia and my family is pretty much all from South Georgia. And so it can get pretty redneck up in the Smith house. So, um, not saying I have like super weird family members, but there's always those few that like you never really talk to and you never really want to talk to, you feel? And then there are the grandparents. Sadly, I do not have any more grandparents. I have step grandparents, but um, my actual true grandparents, they, uh, all four of them passed away from some type of cancer. So I miss them a lot. But um, the grandparents are the shiz. They always would send me so many gifts on my birthdays or holidays. I would always get like a care package. Me and my brother both would from, I have stepbrothers. That's why I grew up with five brothers, but I only have one like real brother. So for the majority of my life, I only did have one brother. But anyways, just to clarify. <laughs> so me and Nate, which is my older brother, we would always get like these huge care packages from my Grammy and my grandpa because they live two hours away from us so like on halloween and stuff whenever we wouldn't be seeing them because we live two hours away they would send us these humongous care packages with like candy and all kinds of cool stuff like toys and stuff and i flip and loved it and my grandma she always made me and my brother like snack trays whenever we would watch tv at her house and it was the bomb let me tell you the bomb it was like chips crackers cookies all this amazing stuff and it was just amazing and then there is the cousins thankfully thankfully i have really great cousins they're all super special to me and i love them so much a lot of them i don't really get to see that often just because they do live a few hours away from me but they aren't like weird or anything they don't have any weird fetishes they're all like super cool but i know there are some really weird cousins out there and I apologize if you have them, but cousins can either be like that weird family member that you actually talk to like maybe once a year or they can be that really amazing family member that is like your best friend. My cousin Taylor, well she's actually my step cousin, but anyways, she is the flipping bomb. I love her so much. We actually just went to a play together, which is why I am currently filming at 11 o'clock at night uh, is because I went to a play with her, but 
it's okay because she got extra points for her class so it's all good and then there are the nieces and the nephews i am so thankful to finally be an aunt because my half brother cameron he has two kids raylan and aubrey and it is so freaking cool that i'm now an aunt because I don't know it was just like super weird how they got brought into my life and I feel like it was God just kind of telling us hey there's something so much more special here within your own family uh, and so being an aunt is freaking awesome and nieces and nephews are just like the best because I don't know they're just awesome they're like your own little kids but you don't have to take them home with you which is just flipping awesome and then if you are a child of divorce you have these step parents these step grandparents these step brothers and sisters and I just want to give all of you people who do have divorced parents a little bit of advice God took apart your parents relationship to bring in new people to affect your life and to help you grow as a person so yeah whenever my dad first started dating my stepmom i was like um no no ma'am that is that's my dude that like my dad is my dude no you can't take him from me but now oh my gosh i freaking love my stepmom she is so amazing i love her so much and she brought me my step cousin taylor she brought me all of my amazing step brothers and i just feel like god really took something apart just to bring everything all back together so um i'm super thankful for that broken relationship that actually turned into an amazing amazing um relationship in my life so if you have step parents out there and they aren't little witches like off the parent trap or something that one chick I forgot her name but it was the blonde you know you know who I'm talking about she was a ball if she's not like that if she's at least half decent try to make it work because it may be God just telling you that you know there's there's somebody that's missing in your life there's somebody that needs to come into your life and to help you grow as a person and there's somebody that needs to complete your family so yeah just a little bit inspo for you guys oh and then there is the brother-in-laws and the sister-in-laws and father-in-laws and mother-in-laws and that can all get very tricky and I am only 18 years old so thankfully I do not know much about that but um I think that's the part in your family where you start to kind of kiss each other's butts because you're just trying to make the families mix together cohesively and peacefully <laughs> That's the best way I think I can put it with my 18 year old mind. But yeah guys, I think that's all I have for you today. I know this video was kind of like more like chill and maybe unorganized, maybe not as well put together and I'm so sorry for that. This week has just been super busy and I thought I was going to have time yesterday to film this video so that I could have time today to edit it. But then one of my teachers canceled on me to take a test so then I had to rearrange that whole schedule and it was just a lot of mess and then today I had to work longer than I thought I did so uh, it's just been a mess and I'm sorry this is the first time I've ever posted a video that I didn't truly put my heart and soul into and I'm sorry about that but I promise this will be the last time I promise I promise uh, this week was just super insanely crazy and busy and I thought I was gonna have time to film but it turns out I didn't and it's 11 o'clock at night so I don't really feel like getting too creative, you feel? Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video anyways. Please like and subscribe if you did like.